Let's knock into this thing. Cut Let's that shit off. Get it. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the Jameson on the oh, Rocks. Oh, me. <laughs> that was uncalled for. I can, I can already tell how this damn episode is going. <laughs> oh my God, can, can we rewind? When can I can't just... even make it through the intro without Luke saying some shit. I my know. Bad, he my definitely bad, just fucked that all up. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're leaving this in for sure. Okay. I feel oh, like man. I made it, dude. I'm like... <laughs> I'm we in there now. Huh? I went from drinking four locos to sitting in Athens <laughs> drinking craft beer out in the glass. Uh, yeah. What? I'm this is a damn wine. This is, this is, this is this man. All right, everybody. This is the top. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> this is Luke and Trey, by the way. This is, <laughs> welcome, Luke and Trey, to the Jameson on the Rocks podcast today. We have two wonderful guests with us. I, I don't know how this shit's going to go right here. Right? We've just been hanging out. We decided that we're going to go off topic. We're going to do a non-music podcast. We're not talking about fucking music. I'm tired of it. Trey's sick of it. He's Fuck tired of hearing about Van Halen. I'm not listening about fucking Guns and Roses for 45 <laughs> minutes. Can we talk about some shit? Hold what on. the fuck? Are you fucking serious? What the fuck? <laughs> Thank you for ruining my life. Who is <laughs> Oh, so we're really taking the call. Hey, man, let me call you back. I'm out of town. <laughs> uh, who the fuck was that? <laughs> Charleston. What was oh, that? God, Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. All right, you guys. Ain't no telling what he wanted. Oh, man. <laughs> so today we have no subject matter prepared. We have no material. Let's give the camera a little wave, though. Everybody yo, give him a little yo, wave. Yo. We need a thumbnail for YouTube. This is hey. going to be it. So do we need to like look at the camera? When no, fuck no. Talking? You just act normal. Just do oh, This is questions you ask for you're in the middle of a podcast. Yeah, this that's, is, that's we should. Say. We're good yeah. though. Like, what do you think Jimmy Fallon would have just said to you? I don't fucking know, but <laughs> damn, this is my first podcast. And I gotta damn get used to it. You know so here, gonna, here's dude. how we should start. I got this. Give me a little background here. I need. I'm gonna need an origin story and an origin story from you two fuckers. Should One at a time. Going first, or you want me to? I think you should. You go first. Make right. it brief. I don't Fuck. want it to be twenty minutes Ooh. long. But give me how we got to here. Go how ahead. we got in Athens? Uh huh. Yeah. Should I start out about how I met you? Yeah, let's go there. Let's All go. right, this will be fun. <laughs> I remember I was in Miss Evans' class in high school. I seen this really? fucker sitting in the back of the damn class. I said, look at this son of a bitch right here, boy. <laughs> I said, what in the hell? <laughs> and I look am, at this young whippersnapper. <laughs> I was checking him out at first, trying to figure him out. He's sizing you know? me up. And I was like, I don't know about this cat here. You know, he come from Harlem and all this shit. I remember. I don't know why I remember it, but we had that bus evacuation drill. And me and you sat together on the damn bus, I think, or some bullshit. <laughs> And it's we like, just got to talking, and I was like, damn, this kid really loves fucking duck hunting. <laughs> like, all we fucking talked about, I ain't no shit. <laughs> James used to bring a damn duck magazine oh, to class God. and be quizzing everybody. Over what kind of fucking duck is this? <laughs> like Something anybody gave you don't know. <laughs> you don't know <laughs> shit. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> be like, damn. They used to be heavy on the ducks, <laughs> dude. Yeah, like, I was living that shit, man. Yep. Dude, but anyways, after that, we became friends, mm -hmm. and um, got to hang out on the weekend, started tapping into a little beer, and... Mm -hmm. Around what know. age? Around what age were we tapped into beers? <laughs> what are you thinking? Sophomore day year, two. <laughs> day, two. day two. I'm thinking. Okay, we'll continue on, and then I'll say but that. Go ahead. Just got to hang it out and stayed buddies, and yeah. now we're up here in Athens visiting him in college. We've probably been friends for what six years? Every you, bit, dude. You came in no, me tenth and grade, I think. It was probably 2014. You and I Trey came. was hanging out no, before me and you was. Was it 2013? Yes, because you were a sophomore and I was a junior, man. Yeah. That's true. And we was in Spanish. This was my second time in Spanish. Mm -hmm. I failed the second time. Too. <laughs> this, this was the second time. And I just remember, man, I looked at James. He was the new kid and shit. I said, this class is just complete bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since then, been friends. Yeah. We, we went out, one day. got yeah. drunk. The <laughs> first <laughs> week of school, we hung out in my, my house. You remember yes. this? I remember getting we Snapchat were, we from were riding you two in fuckers. The field. <laughs> we were riding in the you remember that badass Jeep you had? Yes. I was like, who's this motherfucker with the ladies in the Jeep <laughs> on day one of school? I'm like, I like this guy. This guy's cool. I remember <laughs> like the first time I rode with Trey, man. Like, Trey, he's my cousin and shit, but for like the longest time, 
We right. didn't know each other really. Yeah, really. I don't know. It was weird. Like our family don't do family. Yeah, like, yeah we never got happens. together or anything like that. But I knew he was my cousin the whole time. Like you know? close cousins. Uh, yeah, like, like first, first cousins. First, <laughs> like first or second cousins. Should be fuck? on the Christmas card together. Yeah, our family like, just don't do that type. Of yeah, thing. like related as fuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and um, related. we was um in summer practice. I want to say, or it might have been in school. I don't know. Hell but. yeah! And I was like, you gonna go deer hunting? That was dove season that time. You remember we shooting yeah. doves off the road? I the remember that. I remember y'all telling me that. Y'all dropped the top doves. on the jeep. Yeah. And was the first time that was a bad jeep. The first time I rode with this so much in that jeep. That was the first was time like, y'all hung out. Yeah. yeah. After football practice, man, because I asked for a ride home. I didn't drive yet. And I, I kind of like... assumed y'all were like lifetime friends. No, nah, dude. Wow. It was like ninth grade. <laughs> it was weird okay. as shit. Continue on. But, um, no, nah, you know, you could cut through the woods and shit from the football field to go to Mimi and Papa's. Yeah. And I was like, man, fuck that. I am tired. I am not about to walk all the way to the house. <laughs> so I asked Trey. I was like, hey, man, you think you can give me a ride to Mimi and Papa's? He was like, yeah, I'll take it home. I was like, all right. <clears throat> we got in the damn Jeep. And, you know, the road that bears off to the left to go to Mimi and Papa's right in front of the Dollar General. Yeah. He passed it. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like hey, you're supposed to take a left right there. He's like, yeah, I know what. We about to smoke a cigarette. And I was like, oh, shit. I ain't ever smoked a cigarette. <laughs> 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 and then he pulled out a pack of Paul Mall. It was in the orange pack. What was that? Paul, Paul Mall peaches oranges. or oranges? No, Paul Mall oranges, man. Paul Mall oranges. 100. I was getting with it at a young age. Yeah. They taste like oranges? I don't know, man. No, it tastes kind of like ass <laughs> <laughs> I put this way I, I, like I hadn't smoked one since I hadn't yep. smoked one since but I've um, never once said I wanted a Paul Mall since I was like 13 <laughs> so they we taste, smoked that thing and yeah. I got dizzy as hell and he dropped me back off at the house and after that me and this fucker he's picking me up every morning before school and I shit. can't believe that I figured you, wait but you went to Gibson your whole life almost, or no you transferred you, I, uh, transferred. Washington I County went to Washington bit, County man oh okay. my god you talking about like Alcatraz. <laughs> I got PTSD from that shit. Man. Like, I'm surprised I didn't come out with fucking gang tags on me. From fucking high school. I lived it in middle school. Well, shit, I kind of, I that's fucking funny because I guess I didn't get there until you're both there. I was like, oh, I figured these fuckers just know each other forever. So we kind of all became friends at the same time. Pretty much. Oh yeah. What are the fucking odds of that? That's crazy. What are the odds that remember we that just... vanilla you used to have? Yeah, I tried to buy that bit. I offered you seven hundred dollars for that damn thing. You wouldn't take it. You fucking it. pretty That's much nice gun. stole that damn no. What was it? The the um the eight seventy. My eight seventy. I <laughs> didn't steal it. I sold oh, that for a light bulb or light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> That was a fair deal. I, I went to James's house. Drunk. I went to James's house. I said, "Damn, man, where'd you get this shotgun?" Because I knew I'd seen it before. I said, "This looks just like fucking Trey's gun. It didn't have a bead on it or nothing." I don't think. Yeah, I, I didn't damn. Have a bead. I said, "Where'd you get this?" Line? He said, "Oh, I traded J- um Trey's dumb ass for a light bulb, fifty dollars." <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck?" That's what happens when you're young as shit and just want to get drunk. That's true, man. And damn. hey, that wasn't a bad light bar. It was a hundred fifty dollar light bar. <laughs> That was a Versus good deal. an eight hundred dollar shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll sell it back to you if you want it. You'd offer to buy it one time. I don't know if you still want it. I'll sell it back to you. How much you want for it? <laughs> you about to fuck you. Let's put it out in front of the whole world. How much do you want for my first gun? <laughs> first gun sold I think, it to I get think, drunk. Actually, my first gun. <laughs> <laughs> what also, was we? What was my dad thinking buying an eight year old a twelve gauge? So, hey, that's, that's a good question. Shout that's, out to Jay. Shout out to Jay. That's a real one right there. <laughs> hey boy, here's your twelve gauge. <laughs> Didn't even start you out on a twenty gauge. I know. Did he get you a BB gun first or what? To, no. I he said, a, "Fuck the red rider." No point. Gun 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 <laughs> what are you gonna do with a pellet gun? Shoot birds. <laughs> Shoot humans with well. I have like ten federal offenses from shooting a brown thrasher. You know how many of them I've been killed? Oh, God, <laughs> I'm sorry to the game wardens. I have killed a many I don't of think the state we, birds. I don't think we have any evidence. You know what I mean? No, no evidence. No. I don't really see brown thrasher. I'm sorry. Couldn't find a feather. <laughs> I'm sorry, the ten year old me was just killing shit. And how, didn't you get in trouble for shooting street signs? Was that you? Yeah. That's a stage, though. Yeah, that is James. a stage. Remember we used to ride around and get those signs that oh. was leaned over on the side of the road? Oh, dude, I was in a style. Boy, me and James used to ride around with a fucking impact and a ratchet set. <laughs> <laughs> Take the bitch down, son. Those Where are, are they all at? <laughs> no D-Walt, if you see this, sponsor us, please. <laughs> yeah, the city of Gibson is definitely mad at you now. Yeah, let's, let's, what's up, we you guys? We were smart about it. We wasn't doing it in Jefferson County. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> Fucking with us. Sorry, right, Nesman. <laughs> <What's up? laughs> Yo, Nesman, what's up? What's up? Nesman's a nice guy. I wonder what he's doing. Oh, dude. oh me. So, anyways, where are we? I don't even know what the fuck we were talking about. Brown Thrashers? Yeah. Uh, no, we're way back brown to Thrashers. I was fucking five. I mean, yeah. I was It could have been any. I remember the Tweety Bird phase, though, where you just, like, you yeah. just want to shoot something. Shot shoot. Yeah. Like, I remember you said when we lived in town with Daddy in Sandersville. Man, they had a damn. I was like, you walked in the backyard and all, and there was a, a creek down there, but there was like a it, like a woods all right there that covered the creek and shit. Mm-hmm. And used to, I used to go there on my BB gun. There'd be so many fucking birds in there, dude. You could just shoot in the damn bushes and fucking knock a bird out. <laughs> no, like, and when you're a kid, that's so exciting. Yeah, it was so fun. You know, like, you know those black birds that like group up in trees? Yeah. You yeah, were there. You remember yeah. we was at my mama's house and I pulled out that 870. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I pulled out that 870. <laughs> Same one you got. <laughs> my gun? My first gun? Boom! And like 10 birds fell. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the craziest well, shit ever. Well, ride together, son. Uh, they, they were down. I, I don't really they, do that shit anymore. I kind of feel bad. Worried because you you gotta think that many birds, if they stick that tight together, they will fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen bird box? Pick your fucking brains out, son. Bird box, man. You seen that? Damn, shit? dude, I did. That was a good movie. What was her name? Um, Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. What? You know she's like oh, sixty and still yeah. fine. As where hell. you cover up? <laughs> where you she is fine as hell. Keep the bandana on your your eyes yeah. and shit. Where you yeah, I on. forget what it's about. They if you went out in the sunlight or something, yeah. you had to be. Blind. It was like yeah. little things. That was fucking crazy, dude, because when that shit come out, like everybody was, think of it. Think about it, dude. All right, tell us. You had to damn, you had to hide your eyes. Like, I mean, this is just a movie or whatever, mm-hmm. but still. Is it just a movie? I don't know. We don't know, but you had to cover your eyes up when you went outside. Mm-hmm. All right, today, we're, covered, we're wearing a fucking face mask, dude. <laughs> To keep from catching a fucking virus. Dude, if you want to get that deep, think about when 2012 came out. I was scared shit. Oh, I, remember I, that I too, was scared yeah. shit. Like, I, remember the, I remember Daddy had the store down there in Riddleville, man, and he had folks coming in and like they was buying food and shit. And Daddy was asking them, they was like, he was like, how are y'all doing today? And, and all this other shit. And they was like, yeah, doing good. Just want we'll to see what it's going to do tomorrow. Yeah, you know, 2012, we're all supposed to end. That's crazy, and Daddy though, like, would be like, goddamn, we're going to end. What are you talking about? You know how Daddy is. <laughs> Like, when your dad leave, they'd be like, crazy who fucking hell. makes <laughs> these numbers up? Who's like, you know what? Beep, boop, 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 boop. 2012, world's gonna end, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And That's then people crazy. believe it. That's the shit we could have said. Yeah, yeah. Just there was one in 1984. Wasn't it because they stopped right. making the calendar or something? It was something to do with the mind up. calendar. Yeah. Maybe they just died or Somebody something. Somebody did too mm. much acid mm. and was thinking <laughs> about shit too heavy. I've been acid there. is interesting. It I've is, never done any. It is. I can't say I've ever done any. I'm not going to say I have done any. I'm not going to say, say I have or I haven't. But I've, <laughs> I'll probably never do any, I but I think it's, it's pretty, interesting. It's pretty wild. Yeah, you yeah. imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, I think it's interesting, but what scares me about it is the people that supposedly don't come back. Yeah. Come out. Like, this is I definitely a real thing. Oh, like the Pink Floyd artist, Sid Barrett. Yeah, you know. He, what I mean? happened to him? He went to like an acid house for like a month. And came back and was loomed out of his mind. That song "Wish You Were Here." That was what it was about. Yeah, like sometimes, like people just like they they, they don't come back. Yeah, like they. I've heard of like really bad trips and shit. And no, like, back. Like, like even worse than really bad trip. Like they just not like when they come back, like, it's not them anymore. It's not them. Yeah, yeah. kind of fucked that. up. No, but it's I can interesting. Definitely like, see it. If you guys imagine just wanting to get a little high and then like next thing you know, just like not fucked up for the rest of your yeah, life. Yeah, that's that's scary. What if like, that'd be a wild ass? There's a bunch of books about it. Have you guys ever read these books? Like, no, but on I don't think I've ever read a book. I <laughs> read do. I seen those damn those books that you posted. Yeah. On I think it was your Instagram story, yeah, maybe. Instagram. And there was several books, and I'm like, damn, dude, I really I want to damn read one of those. You guys need to start reading, man. That's the key to knowledge. I want to expand my like vocabulary. For because real. I do remember reading in school, and then you watch the movie. Your imagination was so much better. In yeah, the book, in, in the book. book. And stuff like, like uh, it's kind of like like learning from other people's like fuck-ups. Like, like, say you read a book, and you see somebody do something stupid. You don't have to do it yourself. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, like you learn Makes it sense. before you do something dumb. Like when you're at a party and you watch someone just fall slap out. Exactly. Face, you're like, I'd much rather watch that than do it. Then yes. be now part of we're old. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> then the next weekend you're a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing videos on Snapchat. That Man, I remember. Funny. I remember one time. This is something just to make everybody laugh. Go ahead. But I remember one time, I got slapped. Oh wasted, son. Let me grab my phone. I mean, it Keep was talking. bad. And I remember here. we went to um old buddy's house in Mitchell. I ain't gonna say his name or whatever, but I was fucked up, man. I had a party <laughs> going on at the house. Keith, me and Keith had a big ass party going on at the house. I mean, we had folks parked up and down the damn road next to the dirt road and shit, man. 
and um, <clears throat> old a, a old friend hit me over where she was like. Hey, I want you to go out to so and so's house with me or whatever. I was like, all right, shit, bet. Swing by, pick me up or whatever, because I went about the damn drive. You know what I mean? She had just got off work. She was sober and shit. Well, she swung through, picked me up. I leave everybody in my fucking yard. <laughs> I man. remember that shit, dude. <laughs> everybody was in the fucking yard. And I, I damn dip out with old girl. We go down to old buddy's house, and I wake up, and daddy's waking me up with Uncle Danny. I'm passed out under a car. My my waist waist down to my legs is under the car, and I'm sitting out there, and I'm dead to the world. Well, somebody was um jogging that morning, and they stopped by Uncle Danny's house. <laughs> they saw your body yeah, laying out there. They said that somebody looked James, dead in the yard. <laughs> so Uncle Danny rode up there and got Daddy. Like they walked by me, man. Like I was, I, they walked by me. I don't know what was going on with Uncle Danny. He wasn't thinking or something. I don't That's know. That's my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> he walked by me and went in there and got Daddy and was like, somebody said, y'all got somebody laying out here in the yard. Daddy walked outside and they was like, Daddy was like, Tessa, there's Luke right there. He walked out there and he was like, what the hell are you doing? I was like, where am I at? <laughs> I, mean, I didn't know where the fuck I was at and shit. Another funny loose sleep story. Do you remember we were at the lake and you slept on the, uh, oh, the air mattress God. outside? In the Fuck. sun. What in the hell, son? I remember I slept in that tent with a girl. I'm not going to say her name. <laughs> we was all at Holiday Port at the time. Oh remember, we had the God. bright idea. I stole my mom's debit card. When it <laughs> oh, God. I didn't know that. I we bet Kelly us a got tent. into that ass. We bought us a tent. It was an Came expensive back. tent, too. You yes, remember? it was like a $150 tent. Yes. Bought the tent at Walmart. Set it up at went night. Went back to mama's. Put her debit card back, and we struck out to the fucking lake. And God, man. A time we had. It's kind of cringe now. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like, like. what a bunch of little pieces of shit. Yeah, like, you know what, what a bunch of little pieces of shit. What if my mom didn't have yeah. like 180 in her account? I just, <laughs> <laughs> she actually had bills to pay. We, we just... bought an expensive-ass tent, woke up fucking still drunk and left. <laughs> we didn't even set it up. You remember? <laughs> yeah. We... Me and you were too, uh, you know. Yeah. We were, we were just, you know, we were busy. You were climbing a tree. <laughs> you're climbing it's, a tree. I'm guessing oh, somebody man. else set it up. Dude, you James. remember how good I could climb a tree? I got like fucking. <laughs> we was did. at Holiday Park at that party when he hit his head on that Bronco. I was like, I, <laughs> legit, forty feet up in a fucking yeah, tree. I know. <laughs> we used to stay out there at Jason and Kelly's house when Jason and Kelly was dating. We used to go out there and I walk outside. Trey called my phone. Hey, come outside. I walk outside. I'd be looking around. I'm like, Where the fuck is Trey at? He'd damn throw like an acre at me or something. <laughs> an acre. I look up. He's like, what's up, motherfucker? <laughs> I'm like, damn, son. Dude, I was What'd a fucking... Do? We all had this... Like I damn was monkey. a straight fucking heathen. You grow can climb, I was like... You got some damn... You got four... Two sets of hands, man. You can fucking climb like a motherfucker, man. Dude, I used to be like fucking Tarzan, man, swinging. <laughs> but I used to get drunk, climb shit for no reason. That day, I hey, remember shit. our spring break, our senior year? Uh-huh. We packed up and went to the lake and camped out all week. You remember that shit? Oh, shit. Yeah, oh, Trey wasn't there. God, no, no, it I was just there. me I was and you. In the army. Yeah, you graduated. I went to the army then. Yeah. I think it was just me and you. We went to the fucking lake. Remember that sausage we made? Oh, my God. That's when we damn dipped that sausage in that ranch dressing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's kind of funny that you remember stuff like that. Yeah, I know, yeah, man. I'd like be like, Trey, remember that time we were I could around? do some shit yesterday. You know? Like, some shit I done yesterday. And I don't remember you shit. You could ask me what I ate last night, dude. I couldn't tell you. But something, That's what I'm saying. I like, pizza, didn't we? I, dude, to be honest, my mind just went blank when you asked me that. I'm not even joking. We but. had pizza because you cooked it, and I remember eating it, and it was still a little raw. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> I ate it. I bullshit. Ate it. Hey, no, I don't, I don't mind good. it when the – it was a oven pizza, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't mind it when it's a little bit The like, bread was a little soft. It, I, I don't, don't like my that. shit burn as fuck. That's Do you guys like thing. the thin crust or the thick crust? Yeah. I like the thin crust. Thin I feel crust, like I could eat thin crust all I night. I could eat though. seven boxes of thin crust. Man. I agree. It would not fill me up. But sometimes – But say it hits different. It you hits know? different. It, yeah. it does. It, it tastes thick better, crust, but it don't fill me up. What I don't like about thick crust is a lot of times it's like 90 – The sauce is too much for me. The sauce, really. Sometimes it's like 90% bread, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like I just feel like bloated and fat. Like give me some damn sauce. But that one they gave us last night, it was called Three Meat. Three minutes. Yeah, you can't go wrong with yeah, the meat. Two good. pepperonis on that bitch. Yeah. And it was good. I was I so it. trashed that I put barbecue sauce <laughs> and honey oh, mustard on it. Yeah, we got oh, fucked up. I last drizzled. <laughs> I ain't joking. I drizzled <laughs> barbecue Slept sideways. Sweet baby Ray. Shout out to Sweet Baby Ray. Shout out to hey, Sweet Baby. I put some spicy 
Yum yum on that. Hey, plane. I've got it on a honey mustard kick. What do you guys think about honey mustard? Honey mustard. Maybe I put honey mustard on the pizza great. too. Honey That's mustard true. with the barbecue sauce mix. Honey mustard will, versus ketchup. I'll put uh, oh, honey, honey mustard, mustard all day. day. Honey ketchup right. is what a the thing fuck? in the past. Oh yeah. Okay. Here's here's my point though. Hey, do you remember the colored honey mustard or the colored ketchup? Yes, I do. The, the purple ketchup. It was a little weird. It was a little weird. That was weird as fuck. Imagine somebody dumping some purple. Here's what I'm thinking though. Five years ago, ketchup or honey mustard. Ketchup. Ketchup. That's what I'm saying. What the fuck is up with that, man? It's a thing of the past, know. man. It, like, that... it ran its course. Like, you know, like anything yeah. else. I feel like, is it just everybody or is it just us? I don't know, man. Because, like, I remember my dad saying, like, like when I was a kid, I'd be like, oh, no, I don't want no fucking onions. <laughs> He'd be like, you'll like them one day. Yeah. He was fucking right. I was yeah. like, I used to think they were ass. Like, they just tasted nasty. I used nasty. to hate onions, man. Yeah, I love dude, fucking onions. Used to, I, used to love, I used to love bananas, but I can't eat a fucking banana now. I, I don't know why. I used to eat a banana's ass up. Like, <laughs> yeah. a banana. Applesauce, I used to eat the shit out of applesauce. I'll eat the shit out of applesauce. I can't, I can't stand a fucking I, apple I now. Like I, like I don't know. Sauce. It's weird. I don't it's like whatever you really I love. love. But when I was younger, I didn't like oranges, but I fucking eat an orange every day at work. I like little cutie. A little snack, you know what I mean? A little snacky snack. Little snacky snack. Mm-hmm. Little snacky snack. <laughs> Dude, but. For a snack, I'm typically going to eat a candy bar. Not <laughs> it's just like the same healthy. thing with beer. Well, maybe not with beer, but like you, have, you go through beer phases, you know what I mean? Yeah, you remember like, we, used to, we used to get slapped fucked up every weekend. And like now, I feel like something's got to be going on. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. We're it's too weird. old for that sort of shit. When I was young, yeah. beer was ass. It was nasty. It was. It was definitely a lot harder to get into. But I could also fucking guzzle a fifth of Jack. And yeah, I, I used take to a shot, love, dude, I used to love liquor. If I take liquor. a shot now, but swamp now, mouth. Yeah, as yeah. soon as that shit hits my mouth, swamp mouth, unless I'm drunk as fuck. Especially if up. it's dark. Bro. Yes, oh my God. Hell no. That shit is awful, son. You should have been there. We was in Augusta a couple weekends <laughs> oh, ago. Oh, this shit's funny as hell. And this God. dude, I mean, I'm already trapped. We shut Milledgeville down. And we're like, <laughs> we left there and went to Augusta. Fuck it, we going to <laughs> yeah. Augusta. No. We going to Augusta, bitches. <laughs> this is when we went and picked Bailey up, man. Oh, what's up, Bailey? Shout oh out Bailey. Shout, Shout out, out Bailey. Yo. Oh. God, we got trash, man. But I was it was wild. Drunk as fuck. <laughs> and the bouncer, like you know, I'm like a fucking politician. We're out there right smoking a cigarette. Okay? <laughs> I'm there talking to everybody. He's like, dude, let me buy you a shot. You're a cool motherfucker. And I'm like, hell yeah, dude, let's do one. And he goes and gets a shot of Jameson. Mm. Oh God, that soon, is rough. and I'm out there smoking a cigarette, and I hit Woo! that shot. As soon as it went down, Luke's like. Uh oh, uh oh! All in nasty, front of the girls, bro. everything. Dude. Me and Bailey was sitting there talking and shit. I said, "Look at Trey, watch his shit." And as soon as like we both looked over there, and put a bunch of fine ass women, projectile <laughs> vomited. Some beautiful. Ladies. I think I said that right. I don't know. Why is but, that like that? Though? I like threw a, up every bit of beer. We got drunk in Chili's the other week. I love dude, Chili's, dude. Why we do people to, talk shit about Chili's? Dude, we went to Chili's the other day in Milledgeville. Great environment. Yeah. Is it sideways. Chili's in Milledgeville? Yes. No. Yes. Oh, yes. The bar was like an awesome. Dude. We are in Chili's eating dinner and drinking like five margaritas. Yeah, I drank a margarita. I drank a beer. Me and Trey, keep in mind, me and Trey has been drinking. Shit, when we start drinking that day at two o'clock? No, eleven o'clock. Somewhere we got called, some issues. We called <laughs> old got some shit to work old, through. Old, old George. Oh God. Uh, George yeah, pulled came up. out with us, dude. He pulled up. He got us. We went to Milledgeville. Went to Chili's. We said, fuck it. We're just going to kick it at Chili's until the bars open up, you know. Went in there. We was like, we don't want to order our food right now. We want to drink a little bit. And they was like, all right. We had a damn. She was sweet as she could be. The waitress was. Fine as. Fine as shit. (laughs) I wasn't going to say nothing, but then he brought it up. I was trying to be respectful. If you're watching this, I love you. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, She was in the tray, I feel like. Yeah. Oh, man. She was in the tray. Yeah. Straight spitting Let me throw something in here right quick. Why do people pretend like Chili sucks? Excluding, because excluding society thinks it's funny, I guess. I don't know. Dude, I'm not saying that Chili's I would be there if someone told me That's just me like right fucking now. Nickelback, dude. Everybody tries to make fun of Nickelback. You know exact what I mean? same thing. But they are exact fucking awesome. Thing. I at will this go point, to Chili's in a heartbeat. That's what I'm saying. Up. I'm not the saying loaded, it's elite. The, the loaded boneless wings, wings are fucking what? fire. That shit no, is great. Yes, sir. The honey chipotle chicken crisps. Those are also fire. Oh, shit. You're good. Don't worry about it. And the corn, dude, I will dude, fuck it. Dude, the up. loaded boneless wings with that the is ranch, what I always and they put get. stuff on there, dude. It's like two million How about calories. The, uh, but it's good. South, what is it? The southeastern uh, rolls or Texas rolls or whatever. You know, what there's I'm like about? they had that four for four thing. That's not a four yeah. for four. Yeah, yeah. About? yeah. yeah the egg little, rolls. Yeah, the, the rolls. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? That shit's those things are really good. Have y'all ever been like this? This is definitely it. Like I'm talking heavy shit to this girl. Like and she's <laughs> feeling me, and I'm feeling her. But you're so drunk, and it was so obvious too. Like they was both feeling one another. But like you're so drunk, you just get up and walk away. 
<laughs> yeah, like, like, I didn't say that. shit. Trey just got up and walked out. We left the chip. It was like, all right, we'll holler at you later. And then the next day, you're like, you're like, wait, what? Like, uh, it just slipped away. Like, <laughs> yeah. you didn't even try almost. You're like, you know? damn, yeah. what the like, fuck? I mean, I, was, I went from talking heavy game to just <laughs> fucking paying my tab and walking out. <laughs> it was weird as shit. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, we had a God. night. But, no, we went. We left there. We left Chili's. Mm-hmm. And we went to, uh, what was it, Amici's? No, the Velvet. Elves. I like Amici's. Was it the Velvet? Yeah. We went the Velvet, to Velvet doesn't sell food, does it? No. No, we went out drinking. Yeah. We, we went oh, to Chili's. Because okay. all the drunk. bars and shit was closed. Where, so it was like, fuck it, we're just going to go Capital to Velvet. City was closed? Yeah, all that shit was closed. We, we didn't know it was to get drunk. drunk. Oh, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Good choice. We ended up going to Velvet, and we was in there, and old girl took her order or whatever, and um, me and Trey, we drank a glass of wine. Uh-huh. And I don't think Georgia got anything. Well, Bailey hits me up or whatever. Well, we was like, fuck it, we're about to come to Augusta. And she was like, all right, blah, blah, blah. She, she was getting off of work and all this shit. And um, I asked them, mm-hmm. I'm like, hey, what do y'all boys think about going to Augusta or whatever? And Trey and George was like, fuck it, let's go. And I was <laughs> oh like, my God, God I'm... dang, man. I <laughs> Have I shit. ever said no? <laughs> like, like, that's that's true. Looking back, have I ever said no? You're usually yes, ma'am. I was like, damn, man. I, was, I said, fuck it, we on the way. <laughs> we leave Millersville. I'm down. We got to pick her up and we go to the bar, dude. Soon as we go into bar, instant vibe, fucking awesome. You know what I mean? Wasn't too instant many people vibe. in there. What bar? Where did we go? What um, is, it is, wasn't a big. It wasn't a big. Dude, bar. I don't know. It no, was outside. You know what I mean? Like is, you walk out and you Garden like, City. Garden no, City. No, 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 it wasn't Garden City. No, it's the one where you walk in the gate and you got your little outside patio. Yeah, you patio got the outside and patio and shit. Then you can walk inside to the bar. You know what I mean? They got a bar outside and oh, inside. Um, was it, no, it wasn't a hideout. Um. What's it called? It's, it's is it having a weird carpet? Maybe I Maybe. can't. I don't know. I was too drunk to remember. But I anyway, up there too. my question is: is uh, anyways, we there and we got fucked up. Is Garden City Pretty the best much. bar in Augusta? Or oh, a club. Pretty... I'd say club. Why? Like, if you're looking for a club, well, I don't know, man. Because like normally, like when you first walk in, you know that's a little club part. That's where they got the the music. Like the DJ and then shit. You go the out back and then you go the out back. You got the cornhole. That's Garden City, right? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty lit, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Garden City's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. I would say it's pretty fun. And I feel like that's what I wouldn't really most consider it a are. club. It's just like, it's I don't a know, bar, it's don't you? Chill ass spot. It's, it's cool yeah, as fuck. Yeah, like people aren't like, well, I guess people are dancing. You can get really shitty and not judge there. Yeah, yeah pretty like when I threw up at that one bar in the smoking area, they're like, every time we went out and smoked a cigarette, everybody looked at us. It was like, how about it, y'all? I know what y'all are talking about. The part where you were outside faces the road yeah yes. what is that place called i, I can't think of it's it. like yeah. a like a weird like kind of nicer place yeah it was i remember nice i went hell. there and they i was like can i get a vodka sprite they're like what kind of vodka like what what shell yeah i was like <laughs> well, what, do you, what do you mean <laughs> we take the tito <laughs> explain By the time we got there i was 50 shades of fucked up they call it something <laughs> like like it's a fancy name that's where people leave Garden City at like twelve, and they go there to dance. I tell you what, I'll call damn Bailey right now on the podcast. Get, get Bailey on the phone. Let's see what Bailey. We could have her call her in. I can't find my damn phone. I got my phone. I ain't got Bailey's number. I don't know if I got. What the Bailey fuck, number. Bailey? Why don't we have your number, Bailey? My phone's gone. <laughs> Call Does Luke. anybody have Bailey? Let me. Everybody watching this, thank you for tuning in. Um, I know yeah, we're, this just, has been we're fucking, fucking rambling, fun. <laughs> but it's fun. We're just recording a conversation. You guys just tag along. Fun with us. as shit. I can't find the phone, y'all. Why are you so red, dude? <laughs> I don't know, Trey. Why am I so red? You tell me. <laughs> Let me call you, Luke. Hold on. All right. I should hear the, the buzzing. I know what we're going to talk about next after after this call. Listen. It's in the chair. It's in the fucking chair. <laughs> dude, what kind of vibration is that? It's like a... <laughs> High tech uh, disco type shit yeah, vibration. All right, get Bailey on the line. Let's talk to Bailey. Let's you gotta tell her she's on the podcast though before she says something. What was that? <laughs> Damn, that's Woo. what happens when you weigh two ninety and sit in a little ass chair. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, God, somebody else in the truck. Uh, Brandon tried calling. Brandon who? Charleston. Fuck. Tell him we're on the fucking I podcast. Told, I told him we'll call him back later. Yeah, I told him. <laughs> you tell him. <laughs> You tell him quit calling my shit. I don't know if she's gonna answer. Um, she's at some beach. I'm pretty sure. What the fuck? Who goes on to the her, beach her in Snapchat. December? Put like, it on speakerphone so that it's put cold it up to the everywhere. Mic. When it's twenty degrees, her phone's off. Oh shit. When it's well, twenty fuck. degrees in the state of Georgia, it's cold everywhere. All right, right, I've got I've got two things for us to talk about. You ready? Number one. Uh, 
Well, number one will lead us into number two. Okay, go ahead. Number one, 2021. Obviously going to be our fucking year. No, obviously. Definitely. Just obviously. Like, all right, cut the shit. <laughs> all right, I don't know. All right, I don't know, man. 2020's got me scared as fuck, bro. Bro, 2020 wasn't it that bad. It is only up from here, dude. Bro, yeah. Like, yeah, you know but if you think, I'm looking at, like, the bigger, like, the, the really bigger picture. What's like, the bigger picture? All right. Life is what you make. Look, yeah. See, I had a great year. You're, I had a great year too. Yeah. You're damn. You're. What do you, I'm trying to figure out how to word this. Um, it articulate. It hasn't affected me one bit. To be honest with you. Look, I don't wear your the party. Mask. Yeah. Like your party. That's your party. Say Democrat, Republican, or whatever, whatever. But we oh, get this goddamn this. Biden in here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. That's. I, dude, I think that's we gonna, figured out who Luke voted for. <laughs> that's, gonna, that's gonna hurt a lot of folks, man. It's gonna be a lot of jobs, oil rig, and shit like that. He's gonna try getting everything from China. I feel like. But, but I don't know. I'm not really. I don't know politics. We I'm made just, it through Obama. I'm just <laughs> listening to the old heads I hear at work. I don't know. At the same time, but, he's gonna end the virus. Like as soon as he takes office, the virus can be over. Yeah, but like, I, like I think the, the day virus. Is, the virus is a big fucking that. I think it is. That's too. a bluff, dude. I feel. Yeah. I honestly feel like dude, it's at this of, point, it's kind of a sketchy topic. It is. Yeah. yeah. Like. <laughs> Jameson on the Rocks is going to get canceled tomorrow. Yeah, every, yeah. every episode is going to disappear off the air yeah. if we mention it. They I don't know, man. I, I, feel like it, I feel like at this point it feels a little bit silly. It, yeah. I mean, it is, yeah, it's dumb. Let us take its course. Natural selection. Fuck me. Let cancer do it. Why not just let this shit do we it? We talk yeah. about it on Who's every it episode. Who's going to kill? 90-year-old people? They're about to die anyway. So here's what somebody told me. I'm sorry. Yeah, so everybody. Yeah, it's it's easy. Easy. No, here, here's my Jeez. argument on it. I'm sorry. I got on a rant. This is, got away. this is what <laughs> grandma i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez jj never getting us back on this line. questionable decision to bring these two guys <laughs> no nah, it's fine i'm sorry listen to my argument here all right this is this is actually what you got my guy who cuts my hair told me this in middle school <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> i got my hair cut like a few weeks ago bro that shit was way down my neck all right. he said that in 1918 or sometime in there there was the spanish flu spanish flu killed like ballpark number god i don't know like 150 shit million people. people yeah i remember hearing about it in school and though. there was less people back then and then think about the Black Plague killed even more people. There yeah. was less people. Think about how many people there are now. So you're saying it's to, like a cycle. Yes, it like it naturally happens and it naturally saw its balance. It's you know what I mean? Take it select. Yeah, and two hundred thousand people. No disrespect in any means. That's not a lot. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like in the context of how Four many accidents kill more yes, people than that. That's what yeah. I'm saying. More so people ain't, ain't, like a, ain't it like a ninety nine percent survival, survival rate? rate? Yeah, and like not like downplaying it because obviously it is bad, but like. Mm -hmm. Like, think about it. Like, more people die from caffeine. More people I die from it. alcoholism. You know what yeah, I mean? Every year. Had it, I don't think you it's that it. bad. It's, it's like this, dude. They don't, they don't, they didn't make us wear masks because of the flu or the stomach virus. It's yeah. about the extent of it. Oh, this guy just died from a massive heart attack, but he had corona, so we're going to call it but, corona. Yeah, and he was, the he was eating fucking Snickers bars every day. like years ago? Yeah, though? it's been on like, uh, somebody told me that like. And like now it's just a big thing. Like a Febreze can. Like you can look at a Febreze can from 2015 and it'll say like coronavirus, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, what or, the some, fuck? or it has a name, you know, whatever. That is COVID-19. What did we do to piss China off the damn. I don't think it's a coincidence here. that it was an election year. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, all, you don't think it is? I mean, that's oh. like a freezing cold take, but like, I don't think I it's think, a coincidence man, at all. I think they're trying to fuck with old buddy that's in there. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. I don't get into politics. I try I to stay out of it, too. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Yeah. When I'm talking about it, about it, it I sound stupid. Your life. Yeah, and it really doesn't affect you in a way. Yeah. Like, if you, like, let politics, like, own your life, like... Like, if you have to comment on every fucking thing that happens, you'll be yeah. miserable. I'm There's, a free spirit myself. That's what I'm saying. There's a negativity that comes with politics. My grandparents have got where they don't even watch the news no more, dude, because it's so fucking it's stressful. It's negative, like, bro. It's, it's, it's it doesn't stupid. matter what party you cheer for. Politics are negative. Yeah. It's like, either you like my Here's party or fact, fuck so you. We're no longer in a democracy, and that is it. Yeah. Our votes did not count this election. The coronavirus is bullshit. Tupac is not dead. <laughs> Tupac's dead. <laughs> Tupac and Biggie. Now, can we move on from the conspiracy shit? Yeah, I guess we can. All right. <laughs> so wait, where was I going? I didn't even get to what I was going to say. I was going to say, 2021, what's our fucking plans? What are we doing? We're going to make some big moves. What's going on? What's, what's the plan? Trey what you guys got, got going on? Pretty big ideas. Come Tell 2021. Tell me. When are you going to um, chase the video dream, bro? I don't know. I you really got to log back onto Luke's Dude, corner. We're getting into it. I'm actually going to help him. We're really going. I'm a, no we're bullshit. Start a you podcast. got. You guys should start a podcast. We're going to start. A I podcast. mean, I don't talk to Trey about it. Trey knows how I feel about it. Like me and him, 
We've gotten like you know we get, like, you know you get yeah. fucked up and you like you get like just hang out and talk. You start talking and shit. Yeah. I get I mean, my best ideas when I'm yeah. either drunk or stoned. And boy. think about <laughs> <laughs> you're drunk or stoned. All boy. you guys fucking need is one of these guys, two microphones, yeah. and we can get it set up, dude. And I, I try to tell everybody to make one because it's so much fucking fun. It's fun, dude. It really is. Right now, honestly, I, I forgot who was on camera. I yeah. forgot we was even doing a podcast. Does, does this feel vibing. like work? No, no, no. Awesome. No. awesome. Yes, I love it, man. And then when you get people to like actually like listen to your shit. And all that, that. That's a good feeling like, too. People hit me up. They'll be like, "Dude, that was a great episode. That was cool how yeah, y'all talked about this and that." I'm like, "Damn, oh, that's man. awesome." I just Daddy's calling me. Oh my god, put him on. Oh, speaker. tell him, yeah, tell show. him you're on the podcast. Dude, put yo, him on yo. speaker. Hey, what y'all doing? Hey, you're on a podcast right now. We're in J- at James's place in Athens. We're talking shit on the podcast. Uh, hello, what's going? <laughs> <laughs> Jason. Hey, oh, he come over here. He's gonna stay here for a while. Oh shit! Yeah, everything good. I didn't know y'all out of town. I was gonna tell you, I got to go somewhere, but I was gonna see if y'all y'all could come over here and drink with him or something. Oh shit! <laughs> um, no, nah, we're up here in Athens. Okay. Shit, everything good with Strut though? Huh? Everything good with Strut? Yeah, he's all right. I think this should be all fair. <laughs> 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 oh shit! But now nah, we up here at James's place in Athens. Hey, James has got a show tomorrow in Atlanta. We're going to go up there with him. I'm going to film it and all. Y'all be there. Where's it at? Furnace 41. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Mr. Jason, how are you doing? Hey, James, what's going on, man? Just fighting the good fight. I hope you are too now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Got a show tomorrow? Yes, sir. I'm going to try to give it to him, you know. <laughs> yeah, damn, damn right, damn right, boy. I'm going to come play the hometown soon so y'all can see me. January 15th, be there. 16th, right? We, we 15th, 16th, it's all the same. These last show. <laughs> <laughs> January 15th, Trey's birthday party. James is going to talk to his band How tomorrow, and we're going to try what, getting a concert out there at Trey's house. about daylight savings? It's, it's bullshit. Yeah. <sighs> all right. well, let's let's, let's see what y'all was up to. I didn't know y'all was yeah. All right, we will. All right. We'll holler at y'all a little bit. Y'all be careful. You too, now. Love you. All right. Glad to hear from Mr. Jason. What motherfucker just said, (laughs) what motherfucker just said, hey, I can change the time back an hour. I think it was Ben Franklin. I've always thought about that. (laughs) It was was Benjamin Franklin. Pretty solid guy. (laughs) Pretty solid guy, yeah, but. Outside, somebody's dog just shit right here. Nice. (laughs) My dog shit, he picked it up. This looks like a nice guy though. Oh, pretty dog. Anyways, so daylight savings. I don't I, think we finished the damn twenty twenty one conversation. Uh, <laughs> we're just rambling we're like all some over the place. All right, quick answer. I don't understand it, so I don't have an opinion. Like, exactly. I, like I don't know. Like, well, what's just crazy said, how, hey. how shit can now yeah, go like, back an hour or go for no, yeah, some motherfucker works. did that. You did. You don't. Yeah, just like say. I should definitely look into it, but I'm not educated enough to answer that question. We better stop for the government comes after. <laughs> all, like, all right, Lou, go on with your 2021 plans. Where do we? Where do we um, stop at? That you wanted to do a podcast. Mm-hmm. I was gonna oh yeah, me and me and Trey, man, we'd be talking about it and all. And hell, who's that? Somebody the other night we was out there on the porch smoking a cigarette. He um, he said, man, we need to get a podcast going. And, you know, I've never really thought about the podcast until he, he said something about it, you know? You, you know, said that the other day. Yeah, like, literally, oh, what, fucking Wednesday night? I feel like our or, podcast material, now. I'm kind of funny. Yeah, You're we hilarious. was listening to Theo Vaughn. Shout out, Theo. Shout out, Theo Vaughn, the good. Definitely. Listen to him. If you don't and, listen to Theo Vaughn, what are you doing? I, know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he is bored as fuck, I guess. Yeah, bored as hell. Him or Joe Rogan. Joe, Joe Rogan's an awesome. Funny motherfucker. Joe Rogan Rogan. And then makes they got an think. episode where they collided. Them two got their own podcast together. You need Joe to and Theo? Yes. Oh, I bet that's awesome. What? I had to listen to that Theo one. Theo came on an episode of Joe Rogan. No shit. Yeah. I bet that's cinema gold. I, bet that's awesome. oh, it, 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 I need yeah. to watch that. They were t- <laughs> See, I just discovered Theo, though, like two months ago. Really? Yeah. How long have you guys been on him? I've been, I've noticed him like not I'd say like about two years months or yeah. nothing like his that. His mullet is legendary. I'd yeah. say like beginning of the year, like whenever he's like started like getting like like big or whatever. Like I started 16. seeing like on like random clips like on Instagram yeah. and you know how you see like random shit pop up and all that. I started seeing him on there. For the longest time, I didn't listen to him though. I guess you would say about three or four just... months ago. I, I damn, I said fuck this. I'm gonna damn, <laughs> I'm gonna click on this cat and see what he's about. And he's I, about I He's with the shit. He's right? hilarious. Yeah, he's really funny as hell. He's every. Thing that 
someone who wants to have a podcast. Yeah, yeah well, he's fucking exactly hilarious. He's completely yeah. original. He's gone. You know what I mean? Yeah. Turn that he's mic towards real. your face a little bit. Yeah, there you go. It, like, but, the only so, thing that gets better than him probably the Breakfast Club, and I'm talking about like <laughs> the Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Club has some real Fuck motherfuckers. the Breakfast Club. I, I don't really like the Breakfast Club. It. That's um, Charlemagne. Charlemagne yeah. the God. Like, yeah, I mean, they are, I'm not talking about, I don't watch the Breakfast Club. I'm you talking listen about, like, to the Breakfast Club on the way to work in the morning. Definitely don't. don't. I've been talking about like <laughs> popularity. Oh, yeah. That is like the club. most popular podcast ever. Or, is it technically a podcast? I kind of think it's a radio show. It's a radio show. I mean, same thing. It really kind of is because I play music. They got players yes. come in there and talk. Yeah, yeah like, technically a podcast. I could, so. I could see that. And they've had like every you guys could totally artist. start one though. Like yeah. I could see you guys doing this easily and like just like you'll come up like eventually you guys will be like during the middle of the day you'll be like you know what that's a good podcast idea you'll write it down and at oh, night yeah. you'll have all you have all day to think about it you'll get in there and you guys will just hammer it. Yeah, yeah. I could see that kind of like we're doing now but like we didn't think about we're it. like off yeah. the dome right now. Yeah, it's easy. yeah this it's is funny shit. I didn't see this going like this at all. I've right. had like twenty guests so far or give or take and like every time we walk every time I I stop it you guys will see it when we stop it and like. We walk out, they're like, dude, that was fucking awesome. Like, yeah. you just get in the zone, you're just yeah, talking. I mean, you're just talking. Like, yeah. when do you ever get I feel like we're just all in here just bullshit. That's what I love what I mean? about it. Yeah, it's unfiltered. I don't edit them at all, really. I bounce them down, and I don't cut anything out unless... I've never had to cut anything out. You know what I mean? I might have to cut some shit <laughs> out. Of some shit out of well, nah, nah, I mean, I'm Trey's like, here. So. <laughs> I feel like at least it's real, though. You know what I mean? Like, everything else you're seeing on Instagram is, like, it's really pure. filtered and, like... Yeah, because, like, we're actually talking about stuff. Our day-to-day... Conversations are, hey, want to get fucked up? Yeah. Hey, what are we going to eat for dinner? <laughs> hey, want to watch Longmire? No. <laughs> well, we're watching Longmire anyway. Okay, can Longmire. we get can we get fucked up first? <laughs> so the people who have called in and they're wondering, are you guys, do you guys have a drinking issue? People, so, what? people call in. I got some people call in. They're wondering. See, here they oh are. Oh, God, what? Potential spam, yeah. What good timing, though. No, I'm just joking, but do you guys think you have a drinking problem? No, I wouldn't consider a drink. I don't, I don't know. Damn, I don't really drink a whole lot during the week. Well, I, I, mean, I mean, we might come home and have one or two, three, like, four beers. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I guess, what's the definition we're, of drinking we're problem? Something. Drinking problem, I feel like, is coming when you home can't go and without get, like, shit-faced every night. We don't get shit-faced. Yeah. I, mean, we drink I feel like you got a problem when you can't go without it. I damn, me and Trey both, we damn work every fucking day. Uh-huh. Monday through Friday, or he works Monday through Friday. I work Monday through Thursday most times. Some Fridays, but yeah, some Fridays. Weekends are getting lit, though. but like you know, yeah, I think that's like reasonable. weekends we definitely. I will say, if we was going off of a weekend yeah. basis, yeah, we got a, a fucking yeah, drinking gotta, problem gotta, from hell. You know what I mean? But I like, would consider. I honestly, I'm gonna be a hundred percent. Drinking ain't my number you. one priority. I make sure during the week I don't drink because like every now and then I mean, we have real burgers or something like that. Yeah, I feel like as long as you're not being like a piece of shit every I day, put like, you know what I mean? Before drink, used to I didn't, man. Used to I used to get. Sh- it's kind of a two way street, though, you know, because no, we're not. working all the time, so we can't drink. But on the weekend, you're so fucking tired. We can't when you get sit. Home, we you know can't I mean? sit at the house without drinking on the weekend. So, do we have a drinking problem? I'd say I no, but others would argue. So. Yeah, yeah, others so. would argue that you I'm, do. But I feel like as long as you're not like waking up in the morning, like, oh my god, yeah. like, yeah. put some vodka in my coffee. I don't you know feel like I, mean? I need oh, a sorry. fucking one year sobriety. I don't be at work craving like I ain't gonna say I don't be at work craving a beer because I do yeah. be at work craving yeah. beers some days. Beers are just Let good. all your secrets out. But, but like, like you don't crave yeah. vodka sprites at work. Fuck you know no. I mean? like, oh no. man, I wish I had a shot of Jack. I don't go out of my. I'll be honest, man. I don't go out of my way when I'm at home to to go buy a fifth of liquor or anything like that. Like, there's got to be something going on. Yeah, if yeah. I'm at work and I've had a, a hot ass day, a long day and shit, I'll, I'll be beer. like, damn man, I'm I'm craving a beer. You know, I might go pick up a six pack or something like that. Me and Trey have split it, or yeah. you know, I might even I might even drink one out of it. You know what I mean? I think that's it's fair. just. Like I just wanted to, day, I just wanted you to just ponder beer, the topic, you know, what, you know what, I mean? what I mean? Oh, I get that. Especially like, like when we cook. When like, I cook, yes. No yeah, bullshit. Like, when you cook a nice ass meal, you, you have to, to, man. I feel like you have to, especially a steak. Yeah. Or sometimes for me, pizza. Me pizza, and him got rice. we're making we're, Dude, we're grilling and shit. Yeah, if you're and, out there grilling and you're not drinking a beer, you're probably a communist. You're yeah, if, so. it feels wrong when you don't. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's like American pastime, like fucking baseball. And here's my here's another argument I have for you. How much all right, look, give me a potato potato here. Beer versus Coke or Sprite. You know what I mean? Like the soft drink. 
Okay. You know what I mean? Like I definitely fuck up more cokes than I do beer. But think about it: are they any better for you? No, probably no, not. They're probably, they're probably yeah. worse. They got There's like probably caffeine and shit. Yeah, in if you can pour a coke on a battery especially and eat yeah, away okay. battery acid, a anything that eats away battery especially acid, especially a fucking McDonald's Sprite, dude. Son, <laughs> holy shit! That's it take takes you to have every it. breath you have away. Like, imagine it's so crispy. A McDonald's Sprite. A McDonald's Sprite is that damn static shit that used to come on your TV. That's what it. It tastes like okay. It's like drinking a laser. <laughs> yeah, for real, drinking a laser. Sad but true. Dude, it's like drinking pop rocks. You know what I mean? That should be hitting on you hot as hell. That McDonald's Sprite be With a McChicken? Oh my what? God. Next episode, we need to get somebody from McDonald's in here to explain that For fucking Sprite. Real, man. Because it is something different, man. It is. Dude, it's so no crispy. Bullshit. Yeah, it oh is. Oh my God. It's like swallowing. That, that it tastes way sip. better than the bottles you buy at yeah. the store. Oh, it tastes a hundred times joking. better. Think about that first sip. Dude, but any fountain drink hits different. Way oh, better. Than, drinks I don't know. Down to me, man. A Coke out of the can. You go to a fountain the refrigerator for three or four months. Ah, that's you go to a good. fountain and you hit the damn own. button. It's watered. It comes out first. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like half and half. You know what I mean? I, I just think a fountain drink hits different. That's like McDonald's <laughs> sweet tea. I about go into a diabetic Dude, coma it, every time I drink one, and I don't even have stuff, diabetes. How is that stuff even legal, bro? I don't diabetes. Know. Do you know how much sugar is in that shit? Yeah, we're going to end up with. I know we are. We all fucking need to start going to the gym. Dude, my blood pressure. Your cholesterol so high, my doctor referred me to a nutritionist. Oh my god, motherfucker, you're 24. I didn't go to the nutritionist. Diabetes <laughs> runs deep in our family. Though. Yeah, dude, like everybody in our family. Oh, Danny just got out of the hospital. What two days ago? Two yeah. or three days ago. Here's the beef I do have with beer. Does it not make you guys feel bloated? Bloated yeah, you know as fuck. I mean? Like it used tired. to, it didn't, man. But as I got older. Like I, I get full, like I ate a meal. Yeah. If I get drunk, dude, and I decide to eat, I can't drink no more. I'm it kind of is a meal. And it's like eating yeah. birthday cake, dude. Yeah, like, you yeah. get full. Yeah, like each one. And it's like after I eat, I am done with drinking. Then you drinking. piss five Thank gallons. <laughs> <laughs> like when we were kids, you know, we'd go get a thirty rack and like we drink eighteen of them. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that math. Eighteen each. Nine, nine pl- or yeah. a thirty pack. Yeah, or what? It's fifteen, a, fifteen a piece. 15, yeah, fifteen a piece, give or take. Yeah, uh, I went back when James was like. Cracking a Coke open, pouring half of it out, getting the fifth of Jack, pouring that shit. I remember that in. motherfucker used to ride around with damn Coke bottles in his truck. And Dude, I'd like, go like, like, James drinking, drinking soda or whatever. He'd be like, if I could nah, go this back is for the drink. <laughs> 18 year old me's ass. <laughs> I, I would, get, because I went on like a three-year drunk. I don't even remember graduation. <laughs> Fuck that. I wouldn't kick his ass. I just, I, I wouldn't kick his ass. Oh, I'd, I'd definitely have to kick my ass. I'd, I'd have a talk up. with him. I wouldn't kick his ass. After, After I flipped that truck. Oh, uh, I remember that. I got the phone call. That's when me and you was hanging out. I was out heading heavy. to James' house. Uh, I think it was Bubba called me. He was yeah. like, dude, where are you at? I'm like, dude, I'm laying in the bed. Like, it's fucking, it's 9 o'clock on Air school night. You know ass, what I mean? <laughs> He's like, dude. Trey just got in a wreck. I'm like, oh, my God, what's going on? He was like, man, I don't know. We was in front of him. We went around that deep-ass curve at the house and shit, and all I seen was Trey's taillights in the air. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it like, was a fucking ride. Whoever says time does not slow was down like, has oh never flipped a vehicle. <laughs> Dude, how long was it whenever you knew you fucked up? Dude, what like, what, like, what, what position like? I had was you time, in? I had time to talk to myself. When what it, position uh, was you in? When oh, you dude, knew, I didn't like, even start flipping when it whipped around. Can it like when you told me? yourself you're like, holy fuck, I fucked up. Where was you at in the vehicle? Like, what kind of position was your vehicle going? You know what I mean? Oh, I was still upright when my tires grabbed. It completely did a 180, and when I did that 180, and I was looking back, what'd you say? Your speaker said, hit you, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, not him out. I had I two big teens in the back of that truck. That box came up, felt like Mike Tyson. <laughs> Don't in my ass. Those bitches would shake it your ears. You remember that? Yes, it fucking busted my headlights. The um speakers were so loud, the vibration busted my headlights. Oh my god! It used to take me riding that thing, and it would Papa literally shake your me, ears, dude. Papa called me. He was on the way up from work. He was like. Hey, I was like, I was like, hey, yeah. hey what's going on? Like, it was weird as it was weird as hell, man. Because normally, like, Papa would be in that night, and like, he was working late. He said, and keep in mind, like, Trey was at the house like every day after a practice, like football practice or <laughs> something like that. Like, Trey was around a lot, yeah. you know. So Papa kind of, me, me, and Papa kind of took Trey in. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And he was like, hey, I was like, hey, Papa, where are you at? It's, it's nine o'clock. Where are you at? I'm headed in. Uh, call Trey there. I heard he got in a wreck. You know, I was like, huh? that's a pretty good impersonation. <laughs> hey, He's been working on he that said, for a couple years. I hey. tried calling Kelly there, but I don't think I got the right number. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I said, 
right, well, I'll call I'll call Daddy or somebody that's around in Mitchell. You know what I mean? Because I just got on the phone with Justin, and then Papa had called me like. And when I got on the phone with Justin, you know, like, you know, I thought, like, you know, I didn't think nothing was fucking wrong with him. You know what I mean? I didn't see this motherfucker go through some shit. I was like, that motherfucker's all right. Your, shoulder, your shoulder was just like, hey, yeah, yeah, man, I'm like, my time, dude. I, I'm sitting there calling Daddy. <laughs> man, I couldn't get Daddy on the phone. I called Miss Rhonda. I couldn't get Miss Rhonda on the phone. I called Justin back. I'm like, man, what is going on? My papa just called me. He's like, Trey's getting airlifted to the hospital. Yeah, he's, like, yeah, he's, gonna he's, he's gonna be fine. He's gonna be fine. I was saying his head's real fucked up right now. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? I'm like, damn. I was like, all right, but he's gonna be fine. Like it ain't no life threatening. Let me tell you what Justin like, did. He nah, pulled you're me. Fine. Justin pulled me out of the truck. I'm like 17 years old. Laid me <laughs> in the bed of the truck. Called 911. Put a Marlboro Red in my mouth. <laughs> lit it. And I'm sitting there waiting on the ambulance. I ain't even touching Sounds just like Bubba. Puffing on that bitch. Just like him. I miss him. Puffing oh, on man. that bitch. Just laid out. <laughs> <laughs> you No, you called me. You're like, yeah, man, I'm not going to make it. I just wrecked my truck. I was like... I didn't even know what to say. I was like, no bullshit. Then my grandma made it a hundred times worse. Which one? Not here or who? The one from Boston? Yeah. Oh, my God, man. Uh, Remember we got the seatbelt ticket in Sandersville? This woman pulled up and was freaking out, Out of all things she was like, she pulled up. She said, (laughs) she said, we was headed to Walmart, and I seen Luke and Trey over there. I said, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> and she said, I better go check on them. <laughs> like, she's from Boston, man. She's got oh, an accent. I'm like, going to go to Boston. It's strong as shit. Dude, it's awesome. You Best been to Boston? you'll ever eat. Yes. I'm really? This guy used to, to be obsessed with Boston. All I used to damn wear was Boston shit. I've never been. Like, in middle school? Fenway Park is a wore. fucking move, dude. It's a legendary. Yes. His daddy's mama is from Boston. My daddy's mama? Yeah. Damn, that's cool, man. Real I didn't shit. know that about you. Yeah, there's all kinds of shit that happens. <laughs> well, those are some good high school stories, my friends. Can't but, beat those. I man, think that prom party was lit as man. Six years Trey, later, we're still talking about, about the, the prom night party. That we left the damn. We had the. You remember the night before the first football game? They would cook a meal for us or whatever. We had it at school that night. <laughs> Went to the school and we was in your black Ford buggy. Motor eye. knocking. That yeah, damn motor was knocking like a motor. Remember but, you drained the oil on it? But bug eye, <laughs> dude, bug eye was fucking great. There it was go. so trusty. I love that truck. The truck, is that what it's called? Yeah, bug we na- bug na- named eye. it bug eye because it had two KC lights right there on the oh, front yeah. bumper. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> Busted as fuck. Didn't work. <laughs> Trey said one day, he said, fuck it, we'll call it bug eye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, all right, bet. <laughs> Matthew Crunkin and got in the truck with us, oh, dude. We're going shout around, out uh, Crunk. What's yeah, up, Crunk? Shout out Crunk. <laughs> I rolled that curve at damn. We was at Griffin's Pond Road right there. You know that fucking heavy ass curve. Oh my god! Right there, that old rundown ha- oh, house. Oh yeah, is. yeah, that bitch is mean. Trey goes in that bitch fifty miles an hour. With the damn curve <laughs> sharp. It's just like a ninety degree curve. I ain't playing. <laughs> Matthew's in the back, freaking the fuck out. Oh, I, bet. And I think Trey he shed a tear. <laughs> Trey <laughs> whips that bitch sideways in the road. Trey's like. Dude, what the fuck are you screaming for? We're fine. <laughs> like, it just keeps on driving. No, I'm like, ah, oh, damn. Like, I was freaking out at this point. I was like, shit. I was like, Trey played it off cool, so I like, Trey, you, it. Had, I some, got you had some questionable driving days <laughs> or you're notorious for being a shitty Trey driver. Scares, it's like man. a crazy Dude, one. I literally drove down here. He scares me. <laughs> oh, he scares me. Luke drove to Athens? What the fuck? <laughs> drove been here drove. 20 In times. Oh, did you? Sat in the passenger seat. Feel like I was fucking Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and the and shit. Luke might be the slowest dirt road driver I've ever met in my life. Oh, man, 10 miles an hour. You got to take your time. Not even that five. Yeah. Just, you got to I mean, take your time, man. I understand it, but like it feels like I'm on an elevator that won't open. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I'm like, let's go. Like, come on. I feel that. I feel yeah. that. But and he just be I respect your craft, but like you gotta damn, yeah. you gotta take your time. You can't get in no herb with no dirt road. And you, you know got a big mean? truck, like Why big they truck make drives a different. million of them in glass But a dirt road is something special though. It's something hey, that's true. We should talk about that mind. for a minute. You know what I mean? Like, dirt roads are highly underrated for city yeah. folk. Like, dirt they don't road get is it. something you get on in my Nobody mind, from like, the city will ever understand. They won't get it. I just got a new perspective on a dirt road. Like on this podcast. Go ahead. Tell it. Dirt road is something you get on to slow things down. Yeah. That makes sense. I get that. You know what I mean? If you and want to get a slap, piece of man. ass, too, just take it to a dirt road. Dude, she will be Not mailed. even that. Just <laughs> she will melt in her pants. <laughs> you know not even that. <laughs> she will no. melt in her pants it's as soon just, as she sees that red clay. It's just like oh, a yeah. vibe. <laughs> like, think about riding. A dirt road, I don't know, it just slows time down. Yeah, think about riding. It's just an awesome vibe. 
Think about riding 30 miles on the highway, and then think about riding 30 miles on dirt roads. It's awesome. It's two different two vibes. Two completely different things. But it's something about a dirt road you can't be sober on, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you gotta I be feel clear. that, but sometimes, that. Like, dude, sometimes when shit gets overwhelming for me, dude, I'll, I'll just ride, ride one. Road. I'll be yeah. on a fucking dirt road, Go dude. Go get a tall, natty light and hit a dirt road. Hit <laughs> a tall, natty light. But... <laughs> Maybe I am an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> Come think of it. Conclusion. <laughs> Well, Hell, no, I, I get what you're dude, saying. Sometimes, man, I'll be at work. I'll leave work and shit. I'll be headed home. I'm like, fuck it, man. I might just hit this dirt road. Yeah, line, dude. Just to like clear the fucking brain seat. Do you want another beer? I'm about to hit the wine real quick. Uh, but, um, can you give me a beer, too? <laughs> 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 I got a trap. Yeah, I'll I get you. one. I got, I got to pee real quick. Anyways. Right. We'll wrap it up pretty soon. We're about an hour in. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you made it an hour in, we're very well, proud sure, of that. I'm making another hour. That shit is great. We've been in an hour? Yeah, we've been in an hour. Really? We'll probably what? go 10, 20 more minutes, call it a day. So we need you to... need to do something. That shit's nasty. Bullshit. That shit's good as <laughs> hell. Like go piss. Head. You got time, Luke. I wish Miss Judy was here to drink this thing with me. Go piss and get me a beer, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Life's a bitch. And you're yeah, here, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Trevor Wallace. I met that guy. I seen that yeah. shit on Instagram Jenna's or idea. Snapchat. Jenna's idea. He's such a nice guy too. What about that Kale goes guy? Oh, man? that dude's funny as hell. I saw this one like, where they were acting like frat dudes. TikTok he's the, the dark skin guy. Yeah, TikTok. yeah, he's cool. Yeah, yeah he, I saw he dresses one where he was funny. acting like frat dudes. All of him and his buddies like fucking day ranger slide up for the Addy. I didn't mean it, to drink a whole bottle of wine, but fuck it. You know what I <laughs> mean? Well, I'm getting kind of thirsty over here. You're only on Jameson on the Rocks once. Well, maybe you guys can come back. We'll see what the fans say. Hey, yeah, they said that thing off without me saying bye now. Well, hurry your ass back up. I'm Look at all the dirt on Luke's ass. I know. We bye. slid down a hill earlier. Oh, it was fucking great. I think it's going pretty well so far. I felt like I was the only one that had nuts to try at first. Though, you know? <laughs> this is a big ass drop, man. It was fucking Dad, 20 I still feet. I went down the biggest one, and my leg is fucking shredded right now. You want to try me, Prof? What is it? His my leg fucking shit. leg from sliding into third like Derek <laughs> Jeter fucking down that hill. Luke, show the camera your ass. Not like your actual ass, but like your oh, jeans. Oh, yeah. Was he really about to pull down your <laughs> Was he about to pull down his leg? He looked at me like I'm he, about to move the camera like bare ass or pants. Like, Hell like, no. <laughs> that oh, is shit. a sight nobody wants no. to see. <laughs> Once in a lifetime. Tell him about when we got behind the dump truck today. I thought it was dead. Yeah. Was <laughs> no, you didn't. His ass looks like star crunch. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> gotta love him, though. Oh, shit. We gotta, oh, I know what we should talk about. We should talk about our, um, um, uh, your birthday party. We've talked about the past. Let's talk y'all, about the future. Y'all come on. January 16th. Fuck. Was it 15th or 16th? It don't matter. My birthday's on the 15th, but if you want to do it on the 15th or the 16th, it don't matter. Of January. The 15th of Friday. Yeah. So I'm I'm down with that brown. I'm, I'm good you guys have to work. You don't have to work on Friday. I mean, I got to work on Friday, but I get off at 3.30. Shit. What do you think? We might have some pre-planning, though. You know what I mean? Well, that's seven hours, give or take. Well, I can take off that Friday. It's my fucking birthday. You yeah, know? it's your fucking birthday. You don't want to work anyway. No, nobody wants to work on so, my fucking birthday. <laughs> the plan for uh, January 15th. So we're gonna have a party in Sparta, Georgia. We're gonna have a band play, and they're a pretty good band, decently. Yeah, pretty, yeah. They're, they're okay, decent. you know yeah. what I mean. But I they know the guys in the band; they're cool. Lead singer kicks ass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna have a band. We're gonna bite some people. We got how much? How Are much we property? About the birthday bash right now? Yes, we're talking about the birthday bash. We birthday got birthday bash is a move, man. We got Dude, one my acre. Backyard's roughly two acres. So two acres. Hold plenty of people. And yeah. what's got, the scene we like? Got plenty of parking. Plenty of parking. Okay, plenty so. Like should should I? I love that noise. <laughs> it makes folks look at me like I'm crazy. You know what I mean? Should I plan on us playing on a trailer or us playing under the barn? Trailer, trailer, trailer. The barn well, like be back. It'd be pet. Because the property bitch. line, the way it is, I got the barn, then I got the house at the front of the property line. We could park it in the middle. Speaking of the devil, yeah. fucking Bailey just snapchatted me. Tell her what's up. You missed a chance to be on the podcast. Yeah, but um, so we charging five dollars a head or what? Hey, for real, dude. We, that's the least we could. Make that's them. the least it's, we could do. It's not. It's not that I want to make something. It's just like I have to rent a PA system. You that's know what, what I'm mean? saying, dude. Like you got. So like, if we could break even, that'd be do, cool. Yeah, if you could yes, break sir. even. Yes, <laughs> sir. If you could do like five dollars a head. I feel like that's fair. And yeah, like maybe. probably food will probably be involved. Me and yeah, Trey, we'll probably me and Trey like could a, probably at least we could do is fucking charge five dollars a head, and me and you could get a keg. Oh, a keg would be legendary. That'd yeah, be awesome. Or, or fuck it, for your birthday, mm-hmm. I'll get a keg myself. That way you ain't got to come come out of no pocket for nothing since it's your birthday. But still, dude, I'm going to get like, no, nah, because I, 
PS is If you did hamburgers like and hot dogs, people wouldn't want to drink as much. Like, I want to get drunk. Let's cook a no. pig. Let's cook yeah, a fucking dude, pig. a fucking yeah, pig, pig on Boston butt, man. Well, my buddy set just, shit dude, up anyways. My buddy Grover, shout out Grover. I know you Yo. probably watched these because you had asked me about it before I even fucking knew. My own damn friend was doing a podcast. Grover asked you about it? Grover asked me. He said, dude, I seen your buddy James. He's got a podcast. I'm Shout like, out Grover. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> he's like, yeah, dude. I went to James's Facebook or Instagram, one of them. I said, this motherfucker, he's got a podcast, and I ain't heard shit about it. Shout out Grover. But anyways, my boy Grover, he's got a badass smoker, man. And me and Keith. Let's do it. Well, me and Keith smoked the shit out of some Boston Is Bucks. it mobile? Yes. Okay. We can load it in the back of the truck. So dude. we do in Boston Butts or a whole pig? Boston butts, we can cook, dude. We can cook. Butts are probably easier, I guess. depending on how I don't many know how to people cook we a have. Fucking whole pig. I'm not like a Viking or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I can hey, we can probably a slab of a pig. We can probably cook three. I know we could cook two Boston butts for probably That'd be fifteen plenty. people or something like that. Well, I'm expecting more people than that. Yeah, that's what people. I'm saying. What is this? A fucking family reunion? That's what we want a damn. That's what I'm saying, saying like man. We can American cook. Pie. We can probably we can probably stuff four. Butts on his smoker, and we could cook them for nine hours. Say we put them on at eleven, take them off at. I feel like that'd be eight enough. or nine. But what about I mean? this, dude? What about instead of my house, we rent a fucking lake house, dude? Lake house would be sweet, but it's fucking it's, field, bro. It's probably gonna be more regulated. We've talked about the field, but oh, uh, we gotta worry about the fucking dickheaded yeah, ass neighbors. Yeah, we got some neighbor issues at my yeah. place in a moment. So we'll. I think in. I think we should just like drop a few notes in your neighbors. Mailbox, yeah. be like, yo, we're having a party this day. You're more welcome or to come. let's just fucking talk to them about yeah, it. Yeah, I feel like they'd be cool with it. You know what the thing is, though? They ain't never had no trouble out of us. You the know people I mean? that live exactly next door, we've never seen them. Never. Never. They because we got there. a person that lives exactly beside us, and then beside that is what the liquor guy. What if, like, some guy. satanic oh, cult shit, shit is going on there, dude? It's possible. We've we never, like, they're never seen them, though. fucking window. You know what Spraying some fucking evil spirit shit on me. I feel like Anna girl would have been done got him by yeah, now. Yeah, Anna get him. Anna's <laughs> He's got a little dog. dog I figured. <laughs> fucking cold blooded killer. Well, either way, we're doing it. She done time, time in the pen. Yeah, sir. Done time in the pen. Yeah, legit. Dog, straight for real. from the pound. Straight yeah. From the pound. No shit. Hard time. Hard time. A hard ass time. Yes, like sir. Like sleeping on a cot and shit. That's a dog. That's a, a dog. Cot. That ain't no damn dog. That's a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Anna's ready for anything at this point. Well, you better box damn Anna up, because when I get there, I don't want to be attacked by a dog. No, uh, she, she ain't going to attack. She's just <laughs> <gonna> attack. <laughs> you guys were hyping her up pretty hard. You're like, this prison-ass dog, this motherfucker's We got to put our hard. dog on. <laughs> <laughs> she be throwing gang signs and shit, dude. Well, you heard it here first. Uh, party at Trey Lux. <laughs> we'll, There's going to we'll, be a band. <laughs> well, we got definitely a birthday bash, but... I guess we don't know the location yet, or nah. what are we doing? Are we doing it at Trey's? We're or doing it at my we... house. We're doing your house. What's the worst that happened? Y'all scared? I'm not out. worried no, I'm about not shit. We're all, I'm down. I mean, we're all being pussies here, but what are they going to do? Call the cops? The cops not, come shut I'm it down? I'm not worried yeah. about a cop. Ooh, the first time, we were fucking <laughs> trespassing at the sand pits three years ago <laughs> on private property, fucking <laughs> throwing some ragers <laughs> out there. What the fuck? We'll make a few calls. We'll talk to the neighbors. We got a month in advance. A month in advance. We can talk to the neighbors Sunday when we get home. You guys should. And the five dollars is gonna go towards paying my power bill for. <laughs> no, the five dollars is going to the van. Yeah, dude, know. you gotta make money, dude. Yeah. I don't that, care about making what money. El- what else are you doing it for, then? You know, dude, to yeah. play. I just love playing. But you dude. got to have some money. I mean, we gonna ask your guys, your band, and you to drive all the way to Sparta That's to true. fucking do a show. You know what I mean? We'll do it for cheap, though. Well, well, actually, $5. what I really want is just that where we We're, don't have to rent a you, PA. I tell you what we do. I tell you what we do. Me and you, we get beer. We get. A, we go in. All right. The keg. Keg. We can buy Retract what I said about me buying the keg. Right. <laughs> hey, <laughs> what happened to that? Trey, me and you go in yeah. halves on a keg. That swapped up real quick. Yeah, swapped yeah. up. <laughs> me and Trey go in halves on a keg or whatever. Yeah. All right. We charge $5 a head. Yeah. Let's say we take whatever the keg cost. Mm-hmm. Me and Trey take that out. Me and him will split that, get our money back, and yeah. whatever else the band gets. That's perfect. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's fine. So we all just break even. So we're pretty much yeah. just throwing a rager. Yeah. Let's yeah. Do you know, I mean, is that good with y'all? Anyways. You think that'd be good with you and your boys? I don't so. care. I just don't want to have to like pay 150 for a PA and not get anything back. That's not true. You'll easily make 100 Yeah. Because I've got to rent it a PA for a day. Uh, yeah. So like 20 people, I think, no, 30 people, you'll make your money back. I think we're going to cover that easy. Yeah. Yeah. If we do if we do our job, you know what I mean? Like get Mr. Like, all our friends, you know, like Mr. Jason should come. And yeah. All our friends, right, yeah. It's going to be a fucking rager, dude. It's going to be fun, yeah. We're going to play some tunes. We're going to play some classics. Yeah, hell, we got, what? Oop. <laughs> <laughs> Jewish. 
Yeah, damn, I done got drunk. <laughs> <laughs> we got we got two fucking extra rookie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking Fuck rookie. A rookie. All right, Let me guys. know of a rookie that starts drinking when the sun comes up. You were just, <laughs> you were just bragging about <laughs> not being an alcoholic, and now you are. Nah, I'm joking. Anyways, so do we need to take it to AA? <laughs> I forgot what I was about to say. All right, you guys, we're about to head out to our AA meeting. We're going to talk to you later. Are we going? <laughs> yeah, we're about to log off. We're an hour and ten in. So I Damn, think man, I don't funny. even feel like so that. I'm saying time flies. This Pretty was heavy, fun, man. man. Thank you guys for all for tagging along. If you made really it this long, we're about to, you're about to get hey, one. Hey, before we get off, I yeah. do appreciate you letting us come on here. This Anytime. Shit, yeah, man, it's been a good ass time. Yeah, it's been it's fun as hell. I hope we can do it again, man. We are going to do really it again. Fun. Maybe tomorrow. Well, maybe Sunday. <laughs> maybe we'll do another one. It was really fun. I'm excited as fuck But, yeah, I can't wait for the people to see this. Thank you guys for tagging along. We just we tried to change it up today. We rambled a bit. We had a good time. We got some conspiracy theories. We got some plans for the show. Yeah. It was a great time. Thank you guys all for listening. Say bye to the camera. It was fun. Enjoyed it. Peace out. Yes, sir.